with change being the theme for this year's Corn College. Sometimes we change one small thing and doesn't make that big a difference and other times one small thing can make a big difference and I want to show you four different situations here where the corn's planted on the same day same hybrid and they're actually only 20 feet apart how that change plays in. This is no-till corn here we're a dry spring this year we're struggling to find water but we got a good looking crop here and this has got a total 4 r program under it from a nutrient perspective. It's got some of the pre-plant balanced fertility, some at the planter, some side dress, and we got some pretty nice looking corn. I'm going to take and change things up just a little bit in these other entries and show you that difference. So here in this second rep, the same thing as the previous one, we, we changed one factor, and that was we took the fertility off of the corn planter. So that fertility has been divided back across, in this case, the side dress application and the pre-plant. And by changing the timing of our 4R, we've definitely changed this crop. Now, if the whole field looked like this, uh, we'd be happy with it until we realized that we could add this much more height in here if we manage that fertility. That becomes a big issue on a dry year. Let's make another change. Here in this third rep, we've added one more change to it, and we've added cover crops. In this case, it's a... Uh, oats, triticale, and radishes that were killed the day of planting. And we left the 4R treatment or the fertility off of the corn planter. So while the last pass didn't look as good as the first one, this one really is being uh, caught here today. And this cover crop was killed day of planting. So we have a carbon penalty and we have allopathic toxicity to deal with, um, but adding the cover crop on top of a week for our program has created a drastic difference. Here in the fourth rep, we're back to the same fertility program of the 4R program with planter fertility. And we have cover crops in here, but on this rep, we stripped these cover crops. We planted the cover in the fall, we stripped through it, we freshened it in the spring. And you can see we're close to where we were before the cover crops were added. So making a few changes here is created a lot better environment than we did there in the third rip when the cover got added in. Those are the things that we're going to be focusing on in the 2023 corn soybean college is what, how do we tweak this system to make sure those changes don't get us in trouble.